There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They were sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time.
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? 
Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. No. You're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be mean. Leo. Oh my God. Leo, my little boy, Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Go? I have nowhere to go. Carl, you're all I have. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name?
damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they no I think they just want to understand they know your master abused you it wasn't your fault why did you tell them you found me why couldn't you just have left me there they were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. You leave me no choice. Resisted. I couldn't see anything. I'm not getting anywhere. I give up. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> Holy shit. 